Yo, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my NBA picks for Tuesday, March 13th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all of my NBA, MLB, and NFL videos. And if you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing every single night, visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. So, NBA is just absolute crazy right now. I mean, things are getting really wild. You know, we don't really know what's going on with, you know, a lot of teams, how the rotations are going to play out that given day. My recommendations is... Start getting ready for baseball. Pull back on MLB, how much you're playing every night. Um, I mean, things are just crazy. It's like a crapshoot. And, you know, things things have been going completely opposite directions of what I've thought and obviously of what other people thought because a lot of high-owned guys have been busting. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, you know, we got a lot of good things coming very soon. I'm going to be launching a new website very soon. It's going to have a full optimizer on the website and an app version as well. Um, things are really, really rolling right now for me. Um, you know, we're taking over the DFS injury, uh, industry one day at a time. You mark my words. And, um, yeah, let's just jump into this slate. So we got an 11-game slate. There are some definite spots that we want to attack. A um, couple games I'm really liking. You got the, neg the Nuggets at LA to face the Lakers. This game has a 231 implied total. Denver favored by two. Next, we got the Cavs going into Phoenix to face the Suns. This game has a 230 implied total. Cavs are favored by seven. Next, you got the Hornets going into New Orleans to face the Pelicans. This game has a 230 implied total. Pelicans favored by four and a half. Timberwolves going into Washington to face the Wizards. This game has a 216 implied total. Washington's favored by four. Um, then you got Pacers going into Philadelphia to face the 76ers. This game has a 211 implied total. Philadelphia is favored by five and a half. And the last game that I'm really going to be looking at um, that we don't have a line yet, it's going to be um, OKC Thunder going again into Atlanta to face the Hawks. Um, I'm kind of liking that game as well. Um, so, yeah, so let's just jump into these picks. Um, we'll start at point guard, as always. Um, Westbrook, he's on the second end of a back-to-back. -back. I mean, he's in a really, really good spot right here. Don't get me wrong. But the price tag is up there as well. I don't know if he's the guy that we're necessarily going to want to pay up um, for. But anytime Westbrook's on the slate, we definitely have to consider him. Um, so I do like Westbrook in this matchup going against the Hawks. Now, Kimmel Walker, I mean, he's been up and down on the season. I usually like him at home. Um, so I think he's, you know, more of a GPP play for me. Um, but going against New Orleans and Rondo defense, I mean, this is a really, really good matchup for him to break out. Um, we know Kimmel Walker has 50 fantasy point upside. Um, you know, on this price tag, we need about 42 for him to hit value. He's averaging 37 on the season. So, you know, he's been right there for the most part. So definitely GPP. I like Walker. Um, Lowry going against Brooklyn. I mean, this is a really, really good spot for him. Uh, for me, I think that he's probably going to be a cash game play. Um, you know, up tempo game. They could definitely kill Brooklyn, and he has to sit. But you know, Brooklyn's at home. Hopefully, they could keep you know fight uh, fight a little bit and kind of keep this game a little bit close. So I'm gonna put Lowry in my core at point guard. I definitely like him in this matchup. I'm uh, moving on down though. I'm gonna look at Lonzo Ball. Um, he was just in his matchup a couple games ago. Played 37 minutes and got his 40. Uh, yeah. 48 fantasy points. Um, Lonzo Ball, I mean, he fills up the stat sheet. He's a guy that we definitely look for, uh, fan, uh, you know, when we're trying to build our fantasy lineups. If we fall in his spot, you know, we definitely know he's going to fill up the stat sheet, and we got to like that um, fantasy-wise. So for him to hit value, we need about 38. He's averaging 34 on the season. Like I said, just come, came off a um, 48 fantasy points against them two games ago. So Lonzo Ball for GPP is a solid play. Um, lastly, I'm going to look at a guy like Teague going against um, the Wizards. Ever since Butler's been out, he's been having to pick up, you know, scoring low a little bit. And he's been playing very, very well. For him to hit value, he need 35. He's averaging 31 on the season. Um, so I definitely think this is a prime spot for um, Teague going against Washington in the up-tempo game. Next, we'll go to shooting guard. Um, you know, you got – first, I'm going to start off with um, – you know, I like, I'm going to start personally probably with Booker. But, I mean, Oladipo is solid. Drew Holiday solid. Bill solid. 
and what we do with them. So all these guys are good. The problem for me with these guys is I feel they're all a little bit overpriced, and I'm not trying to reach for them. So that's why I think I'm going to start with Booker. I think he's for sure going to come back. Going against the King, um, I mean, Booker, we know that when he's on the floor, he's going to put um, shots up, and he gets buckets. For NBA value, we need 41. He's averaging 38 on the season. We know the Cavs don't play no defense. So if he plays, he's going to get his regular minutes. I definitely love uh, Booker in this spot. You got DeRozan going against Brooklyn. He's been playing very well. For him to hit value, you need about 40. He's averaging 38 on the season. So definitely like DeRozan in this spot. Nick is Batoon going against New Orleans. Um, very up-tempo game. The guy's coming off a monster 55 fantasy point game. I've been preaching this dude all season. Well, his price is cheap, and, you know, nobody ever plays him. But, I mean, he does a little bit of everything. Plays defense. Um, you know, he gets those steals. He's a really good defender. Um, so I definitely like him once again in this spot. You need 35 for him to hit value. Averaging 28 on the season. Next, we're going to go to a guy, uh, Andrew Wiggins, going against Washington. He's going to be battling with Bill. Um, you know, it's, it's the same thing with Bill. Bill is doing a lot better because Wall's out. Well, Wiggins has been doing a lot better because Butler's out. You know, they get extra opportunities. That's what you really got to look for. Wiggins' price is still down. It's very fair for him to hit value. He's 32. He's averaging 29 on the season. So I definitely like Wiggins. Um, Gary Harris going against the Lakers. Up-tempo game. I mean, I really like Gary Harris. We know he's a guy that's pretty much just has his minutes locked in. He needs 32 for him to hit value. Averaging 30 on the season. I'm going to put him in my core plays as shooting guard. I really, really like him in this spot. Lastly, I'm going to talk about a guy, Jordan Clarkson. He had a bad game um, against the Lakers last game. But with Hood out, you know, I must think he's going to be out again tomorrow. He's going to get extra run. Um, Clarkson, I mean, he's been playing very well since going to the Cavs. Besides this game, I mean, he's getting you low 20s. For him to have value on this press tag, you need 23. He's averaging 23 on the season. So definitely think he's a solid play on the cheap end. Small forward, we'll start with LeBron James. I mean, up-tempo game against Phoenix. This is a great spot for him. But the price tag is just way up there right now. For him to hit value, we need about 63. He's averaging 53 on the season. I mean, he could definitely get there. I mean, LeBron has upside. I just don't know if he's going to get there. But, hey, we'll see. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say he's a cash game player or not yet. But, I mean, the matchup is definitely there. I just don't like the price tag. Next, we got Paul George going against Atlanta. They are on the second end of a back-to-back. Um, but, you know, Paul George is a younger dude. I, it does, I don't think it uh, affects him so much. For him to hit value, you need 45. He's averaging 39 on the season. So I definitely think that Paul George is in play. Um, Otto Porter, um, when you know, since John Wall's been out, he's definitely been picking up the slack. Going against Minnesota, I definitely think this is going to be a competitive game. For him to hit value, we need about 37. He's averaging 31 on the season. Um, so, yeah, Otto Porter, solid play. Harrison Barnes, I mean, he's just a really good cash game play. You need 32 for him to hit value. Going against New York, he's averaging 30 on the season. This is a great spot. You're getting him at a very fair price tag. Um, I definitely think that, you know, Barnes is a really solid play. Um, then we'll talk about a guy, Chandler. I mean, all of a sudden he realized he knows how to play basketball again. Um, he's playing very well. You need 25 for him to hit value. I mean, I mean for the most part, his minutes are there. He's going to play at least, you know, 27, 28 minutes with, you know, 36-minute upside. Going against the Lakers in an up-tempo game. Um, I think that, you know, he really matches up against Kuzma well, who's going to start at small forward. Um, so I definitely think that, uh, you know, that he'll be on the floor, and I like him. Lastly, I mean, I don't know what to do with this guy, but he's cheap. For him to hit value, you know, all we need is 22, averaging 22 on the season. He was chalked tonight, had a shitty game. Um, you know, up-tempo game against Orlando, it's a great spot for him to bounce back. If he's going to start, you know, like he did tonight, then um, I definitely think that he's going to be a great play. Um, power forward, we're going to start with uh, Anthony Davis um, going against... Uh, Charlotte. I mean, the price tag is way up. It's thirteen thousand. I mean, I know what he's been doing. It's just tough to pay that price tag. Um, I mean, but I mean, it's crazy for him to hit value on this price tag. We need um, we need about sixty five. I would say. Let me double check that real quick. I think we need about sixty five. Twelve point nine times. 
Yeah, we need about 65. So, I mean, he can get there. Don't get me wrong. But for me, I think he's more of a GPP play. Tobias Harris, I mean, he's overpriced. He's been playing very well. If I'm going to look at this price range, I'm probably going to go with um, Blake Griffin, who I know is going to hit pretty much a top option now at Detroit. Um, it ain't the best matchup, but he's still a little bit underpriced. For him to hit value, we need about 42. And, I mean, in four straight games, he's got you at least 44. Um, so I like Blake Griffin. You can look at Randall. Um, he's expensive, though, definitely. Um, I'm going to look at Paul Millsap going against um, the Lakers. I mean, he was just in this spot, went off for 37 fantasy points. For him to hit value, he needs 32. Um, I think Millsap's a really good play. Sarek, when nobody plays him, he's quietly having a really good season. Um, you know, for him to hit value, we need 32. Averaging 28 on the season, he's got you at least 32 in three of the past four. Um, so I like Sarich. He's going to be very low owned. Um, Carmelo, he's just too cheap going against Atlanta. to play 31 minutes tonight. Got your 32 fantasy points against Sacramento. This price tag for him to hit value, you need about 27. Averaging 28 on the season. This is just a buy low opportunity on him. You got Todd Gibson. I know this is my favorite cash game play. I mean, he's just cheap for him to hit value, you need about 27. He's averaging 27 on the season. Um, I like him. I'm going to add him to my core plays at small forward. Um, and then, yeah, so let's move on to center. Okay, so, so I'm going to be honest. This is the position I'm really, really struggling at, to tell you the truth. I'm like, shit, I don't know, you know what to do, to be honest with you. So let me go through the plays real quick, and we'll talk about it. We got Carl Anthony Towns going against Washington. He's obviously my, my favorite play, to be honest. Drummond going against Gobert. They kind of take each other out for me. You can look at Embiid. He's overpriced going against Indiana. For him to hit value, he's 48. Averaging 44 on the season. Jokic, I mean, he's, he's coming off a, a solid game. For him to hit value, you need about, you know, 48 as well. I mean, he could definitely do it against the Lakers. But ever since um, Millsap came back, he's been struggling a little bit. Um, so I don't know. You know, if, if I'm really going to um, go that route. GPP-wise, I think it's a great play. There we go. Myers Turner. Um, I mean, he's played at, he's got you at least 35 and four of the past five. He's playing very well. Um, and lastly, we got Gortat. I know, I know, but 3700 All you need for him to have value at this price tag is let me check it out for you real quick. 3.7. You need 18 and a half. He's averaging 23 on the season. So it's a buy low opportunity. So I'm just going to be quite honest with you. I think you got to get Towns in there. Um, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I'm going to have to go. I think I'm going to go with Paul Millsap right here. And the small forward. I think this is where I'm going to save some money. Um, I'm going to go right back to the well. You know, if he's going to play, boom, 6,100, right? What I like to leave you guys. So yeah, hey. I think this is a solid core, something to definitely get you started. Um, you know, if you, if you haven't already, please make sure to click that like button for me. Please make sure that you're subscribed. If you got any questions, you want to talk about somebody I missed, hit me with a comment below. And, hey, let's get it. Talk to you later.